Hello everybody, I'm Chris Zoltz, this is Justin Gruner, and today we're Americans. America. 2014 USA Football from Upper Deck. This is an 18-pack yeah. box with 14 hits inside. That's a lot of hits. I like those numbers. I do too. So, and it's not just USA though. We got Canada in here. We have Football Canada. Players from the sacred land. In the great white north. And so, this literally... Yeah, there's a little bit of a sticker to slow us down. Okay, whew. Easy to Easier than some, that's for sure. Yeah. But this is basically an all-star uh, prep product, and there have been some pretty big names in yeah. past releases uh, of this. Last year's, I believe, had Jameis Winston. Uh, or was it two years ago? Yeah, it was a recent edition. It was very recent. I think Todd Gurley was in there, the Georgia quarterback. It's There's so. tons of potential here, because these guys have yet to be, you know, exactly. they, they probably signed their letters for college. You've got you know potential college stars in the short term future, and potentially NFL stars in the longer term future. Yeah, potentially. Not right. everybody, of course, but potential. That's an interesting looking autograph. Oh, that looks like it's a, like a, it's a cut autograph. I say it's stuff. National it's Signing stuff. Day. Yeah, it's actually cut. You can see the dotted lines around it where they. Right on. Of uh, Moral Stevens, number nine out of twenty-five. Ah, so this has it does have a heavy Canada. Yes, it does. as well. So you get football Canada cards. You see, there has that border, and then you, it looks like you have some short prints or maybe some uh, just subsets of dual player cards. And then here's a single player card. The card backs tell you their high school. They tell you basic information about them yeah. as well as bio. Um, I like this kind of a product. This is serious prospecting kind of a product for football, which you don't have that many options. Yeah, for. They're, they're pretty rare. In, in the uh, same pack, I have a base card and the autograph. Dylan Thompson, defensive lineman. In past editions of this brand, we've had uh, some jumbo patches and some pretty crazy looking cards. Yeah, we've cards. had some really good stuff. And a lot of times, if they're players that aren't really you know, superstars, mm -hmm. you'll get some amazing patches for not a lot of money. Exactly. Which is pretty sweet if you like just fun cards. I'm going to I'm gonna attempt to say this man's name, so don't hold it against me if I say it wrong. Is it Friedrich or Frederick Xavier Duhamel? But he's got a lot of dashes in his name. It's pretty fun. My first pack has two dual cards and three Canadians, eh? Yeah, this one's almost all American. This one has one Canadian or two Canadian cards. If you're one of those guys right. who knows your, you know, all American names and all the recruiting lists, this is going to be a fun. Oh, pack. definitely. I got, uh, you were just speaking about pretty cool patches, and I think I got yeah, a pretty decent one. Yeah, that out, numbered even, too. Yep, numbered out of 55, Donald Will Wilhite. And he looks like he's part of the numbers there or something, but that's that's a pretty sweet patch. I have a standard jersey card of Jonathan Hilleman from St. Peter's Prep. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me where that, that is, so I'd have to find his base card to match it up and get more details. Or you could just Google it later. I could, I could. If you're motivated enough. I'm sure there's some Alabama recruits in this lit on this uh I'm sure there are. You know, crop. I'm sure there's some five star players in this one. I have a trophy. They even have opening. a punter in here or a kicker. Hey, they're stars. Gabriel too. Ferraro. And I've got a it looks like it's a base autograph of Dalton Reisner from Wiggins High School. I like this. This is a, it's a simple set, but but you know, lots of players, lots of potential, lots of base yeah. cards in every pack, too. Oh, yeah. He, he 12 cards, cards per pack, pack, 18 packs per box, 14 hits. So we've got lots going on here. How about a Wyatt Hendricks? This guy's clearly got some some either wrestling or some music in his future. <laughs> you the music, baby. Really? Wyatt? Yeah. I was thinking, <laughs> Wyatt, you know, Bray Wyatt, Wyatt family, Jimi Hendrix, but okay. Sorry, who's the who's the country Wyatt person? Wyatt Earp. That's that's bang bang. Yeah, it's bang bang, but it's still related to country, country music. Western. We're moving on now. All right, I have a uh, cameraman had an eye roll. He, he's right fine. there with he's me and you. That guy. Moving mm -hmm. on now. Moving on. I have an autograph of Braden Twarinski from Canada. Ooh, I have a Canadian autograph as well. All right. I like the look of these and cards. This one's man. a very patriotic Jesse Delgado carrying the American flag, so that's just that's cool. Gotta show that off. Let's see here. I doubt I'm gonna recognize any names, but I'll check every name. How about a Rossini 
Sun Jung Jeff. Man, those Canadians and their names. You'll see it. Wow. Check that name out. You'll see why I can't say it. It's not just because I'm dumb, it's because there's a lot of letters. <laughs> and look at the autograph even. Try fitting that all on a stick. That's a serious autograph. Yeah, good luck with that. Pretty much almost every pack I've opened so far has had an, an, a hit. Yep. I wonder well, if there are inserts in the packs that don't. I don't see. Know. Maybe parallels. I have a Luke Lancaster quarterback uh, mm -hmm. autograph. So you probably have the best potential with these or with the quarterbacks and the wide receivers. Oh and yeah. This. Yep. So how about a Dante DeJohn or DeJohn? He's Canadian again, so I'm totally hosed. Uh, I got your Wyatt Hendricks guy base card. Tell me about him, sir. He is from Kansas. Aha. Uh -huh. Lining up at both defensive end and tight end. Interesting. Two way so, threat. So there you go. Right on. Let's see here. How about a Logan Fisher card? Just so because I know I can say his name properly. That guy looks like a Logan. So he's got like claws coming out. Oh wait, we can't see when they're cropped off. No, no autograph or or uh, hit you know, of any kind in this pack. So let me look closely, looking for parallels. No, nope, not much going on in that one. This is a full gloss, uh, you know, white stock cardboard. It's a little yep. thicker, so it's not you know super inexpensive stock. Right. So it's got a, it does have a simple design, which may think make you think high or a lower end, but this many hits. Yeah. Sorry, that ain't the case. I got a, a feature swatch jersey of Dylan Thompson offensive line. Uh, the cool thing about this product I think, is you get a lot of the kickers, offensive line, defensive line players that get jersey cards that you don't usually get in the pros. I got an American punter. There you go. Slash kicker. And how about a Greer Martini? This guy. He's a. Uh, let's see what's his position. He's a linebacker, so he leaves his opponents shaken and stirred. All right. Put on foam. That was awesome, because I watched James Bond this weekend on DVD, so that, that, that was perfection. I'm glad you got to put yeah, that one in there. Yeah, totally. This feels like a, a patch yeah. pack. It this, feels girthy. This kid's just a monster. Bill Aziz from Canada. He's just a big kid. I don't know. I got one right here that's uh, 6'4", 293. Pierre Carl Lenscott. Well, let's see what this one is. Lenscott. I can't see his name. 6'1, right 260 was this guy. My so guy wins. Your guy wins. Oh, hey, check it out. Another kicker punter from the Americas. That's kind of funny. How many kicker punters does the Americas need? Man, they must have. I mean, it's, it's an art form. I mean, I'm not dogging right. the kickers. They, they, yeah. have, they have cards and I don't, so. Yeah. I have a uh, Ethan McConzo linebacker from Canada autograph. Right on. I thought you did have a card out there somewhere. I thought you oh, didn't have one. Well, I wrote a card. Oh, okay. I've actually appeared on one yeah. trading card. So, for all you there, all you weird random collectors out there, you won't find it. it, but I might put some on eBay. Now that people know. Gabriel Ferraro, a kicker autograph from Canada. All right. Huh? Well, there's got to be some... Uh, you know, NFL relative tie-ins here or something. I'm, I'm betting there are if we slow if we were to slow down and like check out names more closely. And this kid just has a Canadian name, Dominic Levesque. Or Levesque. He could be like or the next Triple could H. Be, it could be Levesque. Do you realize you guys have like shown ten kicker punter cards? That's awesome. You don't see them very often. <laughs> That's awesome. We have a Julian and Gulo autograph offensive line. How about I show a double quarterback card from the under seventeen team? I didn't realize there were multiple squads. Apparently there are. That's something I just realized. There's a, or maybe it's the dual cards or the 17, 18-year-olds. Maybe. Ooh, check that out. Speaking of the dual 17s. Oh, very cool. How about a Luke Hudson slash Jared Maiden dual autograph? That's pretty cool. And if they're under 17, that means like two more years before they even, you know, are done with high school. Yeah. Meaning potential draft pick in six. Yeah, no kidding. Think about that. Sticker autographs too. I got it. That, this could be this could be a, you know a product in 2014 that delivers in 2020. That's very strange. No, that's what makes it awesome. You got a Greg Peace the second, not junior, the second jersey card. So like he's only one short of being Cecil Shorts the third. Yeah, Is that what you're saying. Exactly. Sweet. Man, and not not only that, but. 
I got I get a dual autograph with this many autographs. I dig this kind of stuff. I buy a lot of USA baseball. Yeah, he, so. was, he was geeking up pretty hard off the camera. He was just like, man, I don't care. I love it. Yeah, you. I like hits. And speaking of hits, numbered out of 55. That's a really cool patch. And the thing is, is there I've seen better patches than this that are bigger, but I think they may be just going smaller this year. That's a, that's a cool card. And if he is Don Beebe's kid, which I would bet with that name, the odds are with me, that's a fun card to have. All right, I have a uh, Shane Richards Canadian under-19 autograph. Okay, he's got to work on his signature, though. He's just Shane. Shane. He is just Shane. He's a minimalist. He's worried about his tackles. Or no, he's an offensive lineman. So. Yeah. His pancakes. Yep, he's all about his pancakes. <laughs> Maybe he didn't have enough pancakes that day. I'm looking for, oh, let's see, oh, I have a Tyler Uyghurs card, uh, under 19, Detroit County Day School player, three-year letterman, da, 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 da. Michigan State playoffs, three varsity seasons, title game in 2012, senior 2013, sounds like a promising player, the reason I do all that is because I got his autograph in the same pack. Oh, right on. There was a method to my madness. I figured. I have a Dakota Jones autograph, wide receiver, under 18. He really tried. He really I tried. He's ripping on the kids now. A little bit, yeah. He tries yeah. that autograph. What would you rather have, that or a check mark? Come on. I uh, definitely would rather have that. Yeah, That's, exactly. There's a lot more substance to this autograph than the check mark. Kicker. Or the CP. I'm still looking for a BB. I like the look of these cards. They, they, they're all uh, game action photos for the most part. Not yep. all, but the majority are. Um, you know, fun stuff. I still have yet to get a pack that doesn't have a hit. And I, oh, I got I've my double autograph. I have a Mark Birmingham and Ryan Rutkowski under 17 dual autograph. So I think you're right. These are all the dual autographs are going to be under 17 guys. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. How about a FXD autograph from Frederick Xavier oh, wow. Duhamel? <laughs> Try to read his high school name. Vieux Montreal, I guess. C E G E P Vieux Montreal. I don't know. Oh, I got a patch going on in this pack or something. Yeah, it's funky. It just it's much funkier, it's bigger good, right yeah. off the bat. Of course, I say that it probably has extra cards. Yeah, that's what I always get to. I have a James Hendren offensive. We're getting a lot of offensive line autographs in here, which is cool with me. I, it's all good. I dig it. Ooh, this guy must be good because he's he's doing a pose like The Rock, oh, and he's wow. in a studio shot, or he just you know missed the game. He's a linebacker from Brennan, wherever that is, Brennan High School. I'll have to find his base card. I know I got it. Grant, what what time of day? What a one an owl you can figure it out. Autograph, there he is. Watanabe. Yeah, I was trying to get the roll there. The roll. All, the roll of the tongue. Oh, here's my first pack without a hit. Oh, here we go. Tell me about him. He is San Antonio. So Texas there boy. There you go. Two time first team all district, twenty eight four A selection. Our defensive player of the year from the San Antonio Express newspaper I used to as work a junior. There. He led them to a 15-1 record as a senior, and he's rated number 83 overall in Texas. There you go. And in Texas, so. you know, being 83 mm -hmm. ain't that bad. No, we take our football serious here. How about a Team USA Downs Canada card, 43-7? See, this is a box score to tell you who the best players are from the game oh, in wow. your box. That's cool. That's kind of fun. So let's see. Justin Jackson had, uh, well, if I can learn how to read, rushing. Uh, 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 uh. Net, 70 yards rushing was the leader in the game. That's kind of scary. Well, they probably swapped him out a lot. You know, they probably put it Yeah, they, the they did because, well, hold on. Samaj so Perrine scored two touchdowns rushing. Let's see. So, Chris Durkin threw a touchdown. I'm starting to think that they took this picture after the game was over of this kid. He's not happy. He's not a happy camper. How about a Dakota Jones jersey card? Oh. I just like the name. Ah, these wrappers are tough to open. Let's see here. Another jersey, a Greer Martini. So now I'm, I'm starting the Martini Super Collection. All right. 
my final pack. I got a Jaden Johnson autograph. Probably related to Jimmy. Oh wait, Jimmy's not Canadian. Probably not now. Let's see. It could be related to him, a cousin. This guy, he got a card. I wonder if he was out for injury. <laughs> Let's see here. They played it in Arlington, Texas. All right. We could have been at the game, man, but we we missed out. Yeah, Dion Austin jersey card. I finished my last pack with an autograph. Casey Gernot from Menlo Atherton High School. And I'll figure out where once I find his base card. So let me do the counting here. Yes, me... This is a ridiculous <coughs> amount of stuff. We have a lot of hits. My last pack has a Jackson Ryan Canadian running back autograph. I wonder if there's a premium on the Canadians, eh? Take all those running backs big up there. Yeah, yeah. Tell us on the back of the card just how big is the guy? 250 pounds, six foot one. That'll work. A little Big tall boy. for a for a running back, but that's okay. Craig Hayward. This is a ridiculous amount of stuff. Yeah. I may not know who the names are, but I don't care. Look at that. Four, 12, 15 hits in a box. If you thought. 16 auto, or not 16 autos. Four, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 autos, four jerseys in one box. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got a cut, a cut signature from yeah, this kid. It's like a signing day signature. I'm gonna be nosy and pick this one up. That's fine. Yeah, just kind of a matted autograph. That's cool. Numbered out of 60. Perry, Florida, wide receiver. Sounds like a position player. Yeah, it does. I do think that your patch beat my patch. It's a BB special. So, but it's I'm still very patch. satisfied with the patch that I got. That is a really cool patch. Yep, it's so. very similar. I mean, you know, similar size. Yeah. This this is crazy. And you know, if you know your football players, your prospects, you're, you're gonna have more, way more fun with this than or, you know. Have fun opening and then researching the players later. Exactly. I mean, well, and that's like that's this kid. I'm gonna go look him up right now and see if he's going to <coughs> Alabama or you know a big school like that. You better not back there working the camera. Do it. No, you're doing. My it. team was better. Yeah. Where are you? Oh, there it is. It's a delayed reaction. <laughs> How many Canadian players? You got five? I got five Canadians. I got four, eh? Eh? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Canadian, yes. th th this is just crazy. I'm sure somebody, there's probably a top guy staring us in the face and we don't even know it yet. That's yep. the kind of power of this kind of brand. Um, yep. Obviously, it's, it's, these aren't rookie cards because yep. they're not professional cards, um, but they yep. are fully licensed, you know, authorized yeah. by the entity. It's not like somebody's printing cards of some player or prospect in their basement. That's usually not how a rolls. So no, they, I'm not saying they, it's them. I'm the saying they're once once you know when Tebow was on the uh, on the arrival stage, right. there were lots of fake prospect cards made yeah, out that's there. True. So this is your first chance at seeing some of these names, you know, in an authorized yeah. fashion. Oh, and, yeah. they, and again, this may be somebody who's drafted in 2020. That's a crazy thought. That's you? a long time to wait for a Actually, it'd be 2021 20, if they're be, yeah. under 17. Yeah, yeah even later. Be. Think about that. I don't want to. I know. He doesn't want to think I'm about not that all. patient. I want it now. Well, speaking of wanting it now, I kind of want to, you know, pick up drag. I don't know, Drag my carcass to a card shop that would have this and find some. You do that? Because that's fun. I don't think it goes live until next week, though. Oh. It lasts today. When it lasts today? News well, to actually, you. I mean, it must have because. Good thing two, he's not the football guy. Two days ago, it said it was going live later. Yeah. And I don't know. We haven't, I haven't gotten a checklist for it yet, so I got to email the guys at Upper Deck and see if we can get that now. I like it. I do too. That's all I got to say. I like it. All Regardless right. of when it comes out and when it will be checklisted, and then it'll be priced two weeks after that, give or take. So I think it's a win. It is. All right. Well, until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Justin. Just keep winning.